Hi there, Retro Tech Ralph here. Right, I have got another donation into the, um, the garage. Right, basically, it's from my brother. I won't go into um, details of exactly who he is or whatever else, but um, yeah, he's currently in Benidorm being a DJ, a uh, working whatever it is he works over there in clubs or cafes or whatever just wearing a living to, to live in the sun and to be honest good luck to him but this has been in he's got some stuff stored here because he's over there and he doesn't want to keep everything in Benidorm and he doesn't want to permanently move over there but he's got some stuff stored here and stuff stored at, at, at parents house and this has been in a wardrobe for two years and I could have kill for something like this not long since when doing the xbox stuff it's a sky hd box now i'm going to do a tear down on this because i want the bloody hard drive out in this there's even still a yeah a sky card in this not meant to be that color i don't think it is it's burn onto it but yeah I'm going to tear down this. This is, this is the Sky model. Let's have a look. Amstrad DRX890. Underneath there. I was actually thinking, because I need to do... I need to start doing game capture. And I've been pestered to try to do this, but the problem with it is game capturing is, is fine when you've got nowadays systems. You get a box, you get an HDMI cable, you take it from your PlayStation, Xbox or whatever into this box and you put it out to the t television and then you can capture stuff on a box, which is fine, which a lot of people do. Or the cable goes from the HDMI straight to the PC and is recorded on the PC and played off the PC. What they don't have is stuff for coax, your old grandstands, your Ataris, anything like that. You cannot capture it. There's nothing out there that I've had a good look in to try and do this. So, the idea is, you use something like this. You use the input on maybe a skybox, maybe a video recorder. I think Neil at Retro Man Cave, he's used a video recorder. An old, he has an input, has an output, the coax goes in, it goes out to the side into a composite. Composite or component? Composite, yeah, which is these are. Component is the blue, green, whatever it is. But as long as you can get a composite output, everything I have in here, the PlayStation can go to can do HDMI, but I can get down to composite. Everything else I have, Spectrums, Commodores, BBCs, I can I can do composite. However, the older stuff, which only has a coax does not have anything. Any of my grandstands I can't capture the um, foot footage from. So, there's an idea I can do stuff like this. I have got other things in here that I can probably do capturing through. I have a few DVD players. There was one on here a while ago which was a Sony, which is a DVD recorder. I've also got the idea in my head that I can possibly even use that for capturing. Use a DVD recorder, not to record from a standard from the, from the free view, but to possibly record from the coax. Yeah, it might be possible, but I need to look into that. So, looks like so far I have to take out three screws. It's very odd that you take three screws out of the back. Not really known. Anything on the side? Anything underneath? No, no. Anything on the feet? Can't tell. Right, the bottom part looks like it's taken off there, but this part here feels like one piece to there. So, right, I'll take another screw off of here. 
that feels a lot more substantial pulling this screw out of here. So four screws out. And I have nothing apart from the Ethernet one there to even consider. Now they look like they um, pull in, pull out. Ah. Now I do not want this, but I want to do this as a teardown. Hello. What are those? Too wide for that. So. Ah, they feel like screws. So we'll see if any of the ones on the back we need to actually take out. It's got a magnet, I've got a magnet anywhere. There. Will that come out with that? No, it'll come out later. Feel there. Cracked off. Right. Do that again. Let's try taking that small one out of the Ethernet. It's the amount of inputs outputs on this is ridiculous. You've got your SCAR, you've even got a like a joystick port, but I think that's to do with upgrades or when the mechanics come around. Actually, why have I missed out all these? Oh. I don't think these are to do with the case. It sounds like it's going through metal because it's a thinner cable. Oh, sorry, it's a thinner thread on there. So there's another one there with a thinner thread as well. This looks like it's easier than what I'm laying on. Give me two minutes. I'm going to take a hammer to this and see what I'm doing wrong. I've sussed down what you need to do. <clears throat> right. I've unscrewed everything, every single screws off of this. So it might make it easier to strip down later on. There is a rattle on here. And what I figured out is these two tabs on here, let's pull these up, pull them out and slide this plastic panel off the side. It reminds me a lot like an Xbox 360 where the whole panels go around the side of it. That needs to go over there. I need to turn the heating off a second. It's chilly in here. Die there and it slides off. So, okay. Now, what you need to do now is the front panel here, lift that tab up there, but then it needs to slide off of the actual the plastic part from the metal. Now, there's a door gone. <laughs> well, this apparently can be a little bit fiddly. No fun there. Come on, you little bugger. That's a come. Doesn't want to play ball much. It is starting to come there. It's just quite tricky to get out. See, that's attached to there. I'll push this all back in again. <laughs> Oh no, I like that there. Right, okay, there's, there's a tab there to come out. To connect the bottom from the top. Because that one's already come out. Surprisingly. And that does not want to come off. You're going to fight. If you want to fight, you lose because I don't care about this box much. If it does make me be able to do any streaming, then. I can get this to a state where it will be usable. Come on, you bugger. I don't think I need to take that off there. Right, oh, there. But, uh... ah. Okay. Done. That's so when there they've got all the plastics. They need to take that off, do they? Okay. Plastics for all the buttons on the front panel, all the buttons down here. We don't really notice they're all there flush and the record button on the front attached to along here right on there then right next part we need to take off that multi connector there and then this should come off 
by twisting these metal tabs around. Now which way does that go? I've got one there. That way. Don't know. That right. See the worst case on this, if I twist it the wrong way, it's gonna snap off. And the one up there as well. So it's not 100 percent round to there. Off. Come on. Okay, that's off. Still hooking on down there for some reason. Does it want to come off from this bottom one? Take your time. There you go, thank you. So this also needs to come off as well. So there's twist round to there. Twist round to there, and then lift up off of those and then out. So that gives you all the front panel then, infrared receiver, other buttons for the front. What's weird is the front buttons aren't actually soldered in straight. Hmm. Okay, some um, small switches I could use for a later date. You've got the, um, the display part there for it spinning round, and surprisingly, there's a chip behind there which actually controls it. And that's actually supposed to be an eight sequence chip there, but I remember seeing is fast or slow for play or standard on play. I don't think I've seen eight sequences on there, but it might have been different things. It might be if they rewind and, and yeah, slow play backwards, possibly. Yeah, okay, I can use parts on that, I'm sure. Right, onto the rear, and that's more twisting metal bits round. The metal case. I think I twisted that the wrong way. Or have I? Yeah. A bit outwards. Does it? Completely opposite, the opposite way. There we go. Same as that one. Okay, that's on the rear bottom part of the case. That's actually quite sharp, that. Which is surprising. So, gone to. Get his head in bloody way completely. This top section should lift off. Yeah, so it should lift off from the back to the front. I took all the tabs off here. There, there, there. Nope. It's a stubborn little blighter, this. It doesn't want to come back, come to pieces easily. Okay, all right, there we go. So wash from the back. Quite dirty that. And this will have been plugged in for quite a while anyway. But the heat from that will be from this heat sink on top of the chip. That's basically all these are is a, is a PC. Very, very basic PC. You've got power supply over here, you've got a chip, your card reader over here. You've actually got a USB port in front with the USB connectors, so why wouldn't that actually work as a USB? To use this as a USB player. Start a cable for the hard drive, which is there, which is what I want. Now, that metal part now is now full and needs to be taken down even further. Three screws on the front. I'm not sure if this has got the hard drive on it. I think it possibly does, yes. So I can see why Sky Engineers come round and go, oh yeah, I'll fix your box and then take it away and give you a new one. Because this is absolutely impossible to do. And that should be the hard drive loose. If not, there's another one underneath it. Right, I need to take off the motherboard. There's a screw there holding the board in place, which is surprising there's only one. Let's drop down. I've got a longer connector on there anyway, going straight 
to the lower board to connect it back to there. Let's take these off of here. So take out the USB. Oh, that does not want to come out. There we go. And the SATA cable for the hard drive. And that's just took the plastics for the SATA drive off as well. Now I've already took everything off the back anyway, including the, the screws for that, for the um, coax, coaxial cables there. Let's cut that one off. Cable tie on here. Good. That should release. The fans come off. Ooh, that is really sharp. If you're going to do this, be just careful. Now, something just fell out then. I think it might have been a screw. So, it might have been that one loose. Yeah, that one loose there. So, it wasn't the, the rattle that was in here before. Right, that's off there. And that comes out. There we go. Now, I'd love to be able to use this as a PC. You've got a USB, HDMI, SATA. Oh, is it RS232? What they use for it? Long joystick port there. Network. You could use this as a full PC, a bare bones PC. I'm sure you could. Be amazing if you could. But the problem with this now is you've got two separate hard drives. If I want to use this as a as a streaming sort of PC, then I've got. Actually, they're, they're the inputs for the dish. That's the input for that. That's got all the inputs I actually need. I've only got the aerial. And I don't need that. And I don't need... Don't fully need, but... Yeah. Another two more screws there for the hard drive. And this one, I think, has only got a 250 gig hard drive. But then again, it's got a 250 gig hard drive in it. So it's not bad at all. That would probably be easier to take off that way, but I'm going to do this the awkward way. Dun, 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 and that should be hard drive out. I can use that. That's probably formatted. Hello. I thought this was 250 gig. It's not. That's going to really go in one of my um, Xboxes. Half a gig, 520, sorry, 500, 520, 500 gig hard drive. And it's a thin, but it's still three and a half inch hard drive. So that's going to do me really well. Reformatted Seagate, <coughs> help out one of the, um, the Xboxes. See, there's even power here from the hard drive. The standard um, connectors. So it's, it is so much of a... A PC sort of based. Ridiculous. Hello. That's the hard drive. I've just lost a screw underneath the, the power board. Oh, it popped out there. So there was a second screw that actually came out. So let's unfasten fasten it on here. There. Anywhere. Cable loom out. So let's take this part out out here. I've got a fuse in the corner. Looks like we're just attached with one screw again. But am I wrong? Two screws right in there when I can't get to. So is there any more? You thought there was something more on the front. And I've already taken off a screw holding the plastic case on anyway. The screw just a little bit too small, just spinning round on the screw head. More metal holding things in place. Turn around there. And there. The screws come off. little blighter, a little bit of manoeuvring to get out. And I'm back down to the fan and the bottom case.
with a screw. And there you have it. That's the power supply, card reader, and all the outputs and inputs. And the optical as well. Hmm. There's really not much to this. You can see where the um, power goes to. This capacity here is obviously. Uh, this hasn't been plugged in for a while, so there's nothing there anyway. But you can tell that it's obviously been overheated and it's come off my fingers. But that's fine, that's an easy service if I was going to do that. But let me see what I can do with that. So, yeah, lots of pieces, lots of fans. Let's um, see what I can do to faff around. And if I can possibly do a, a retro re a video capture device from this, fine. If not, I've just made a 500 gig hard drive out in this. And that's very bloody useful for me. Very useful. So, yeah, that's how I take apart a Skybox. Bit of a pain in the arse, but it's done and, it's, and I'm happy with that. And I'm left to pieces. I'm really happy there's a... I'm sure I could... There'd be something you could use that for. Because that is basically a PC. A very bare bones PC at, at most, but you have to reprogram half of the chips, or whether or not everything's on the hard drive or not. I don't know. But yeah, that's a skybox for you. So anyway, thanks for that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please. I've got tons of other videos on the channel. I've got absolutely loads. So please like, subscribe. I'll put more screws in there. If if you want to help me get along with the channel, it's always appreciated. Any help, any patronage, please, the link below for the patrons, then <clears throat> please help out if you can. And if not, enjoy the next video when it comes out, and I'll see you in that one. Bye-bye for now.